My name's Erica. I'm an academic advisor in academic services at Glendon, and I may have met some of you already in your enrollment appointment. If not, I look forward to meeting you as you guys come and choose your courses for your first year at Glendon. If you've accepted your offer of admission for Glendon, you're going to want to book your enrollment appointment as soon as possible. Courses are starting to fill up, so it's important you get in so that you can get your first choice of courses. What happens on your enrollment appointment day is we take your photo for your YU card. We also give you an overview of student life at Glendon, and then you move into the session with academic advisors to choose your courses. You'll have a presentation that briefly gives you the overview of your degree here at Glendon and then we'll break off into smaller groups to work on course enrollment. If you haven't attended your enrollment appointment yet, some things that you want to start thinking about is you want to create your Passport York account. This is the account you're going to use to add your courses at your enrollment appointment and be sure to jot down your username and password so that you have that information on your enrollment appointment day. Also you might want to think a little bit about some courses that you're interested in doing. Um, maybe you're thinking of adding a major or a minor so have those ideas at hand so that you can let an advisor know and we can help you with your course selection. When we're helping you with your course selection we're thinking about the big picture. We're trying to figure out what's going to help you choose your courses to graduate. We're thinking about your general education requirement, if you're thinking about an exchange, and we're trying to overlap as many requirements as possible in order to help you complete your degrees within 120 credits. For those of you who have already attended your enrollment appointment, you are given a cheat sheet as well as some general education suggestions. A lot of you may want to go home and take your time to choose your courses, which we encourage, but just keep in mind that we are all trained professional academic advisors and the course selection suggestions we give you at your enrollment appointment are given for a reason. The source for all of your program requirements is the under graduate calendar. You can find this calendar online through the My Glendon website. It's divided by year, so if you're starting in 2014, you're going to want to follow the 2014-2015 undergraduate calendar. You can search by program, and then when you click on your program, you can see the course offerings for that particular program. You'll want to follow this if you are making any changes from home, just to ensure that you're doing the appropriate courses that we've suggested. If you have any questions after you've selected your courses, you can email us at deeradvisor at glendon.yorku.ca and we can take a quick peek at the courses you've enrolled in to make sure you're on track if you made any changes after your enrollment appointment. A lot of our general education courses at Glendon are cross-listed to other majors. The same thing does not happen at the main campus. One of the benefits of Glendon's general education courses being cross-listed is that they fulfill a lot of requirements at the same time. If you're thinking about doing an IBA and going on exchange in your third year, it's really important that you're starting some of your major courses as well as completing your gen ed before you go on exchange. We want to give you as much flexibility in your third and fourth year so that you can be successful while you're abroad. For those of you who have come into Glendon as undeclared majors, you'll want to start to get a feel for what you want to pursue in your first year of studies. It doesn't mean that you have to set something in stone, just think of a few subjects you're wanting to pursue and we'll make sure that you're enrolled in the proper courses for those majors and any additional courses that you may want to take. If you are an undeclared major, you will have to eventually declare a major. Your first year is a great time to try out a few courses, get a feel for some of the subjects you're interested in majoring in, but probably by the end of your first year, if not your second year, you will want to declare a major. For those of you overachieving Glendonites, you may be thinking about taking 36 credits. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Don't stress yourself out more than you need to be. In certain circumstances, we'll let students take up to 36 credits in a year, but that's typically when they're preparing to graduate and they've got a timeline in mind. In your first year, this is going to be a really big adjustment. The workload is harder, the reading schedule is much more dense, so you're going to want to pace yourself so that you don't overwhelm yourself in your first year and then you're having to make some adjustments later on. During the summer, if you need to get in touch with us, feel free to email us at deeradvisor at glendon.yorku.ca. When you start your first day at Glendon, we're here and we operate on a fully walk-in basis from 9 a.m. till noon and from 1.30 until 3.30. Hope that answered some of your questions. A bientôt!